Hello. Nice here. Set beasts. Last time we defeated two captains and now Meredith's in the party. Yeah. Um, I did, since last time, actually look up how the scaling works on uh, fused material rewards from the quest board. Turns out it's not like you defeat a captain and they suddenly start giving you like three more. Apparently you can defeat the captain refights multiple times. I'm assuming that it's like you have to do a full loop though. And it's like plus one for extra loop. Um, let's see, right, we're leveling a snoopin' for a quest. trying to think uh what i want to do i guess looking at the quest log might help look for some ice peck some rogue fusions actually ice peck might be something i finish between videos um right now there aren't any fusions on the map i just rested and so the world reset. Uh, what was the other quest? Right, the snooping. Uh, well, let's at least find, like, one ice peck on camera. Uh, did the quest say they were actually... Uh, they must be outside, considering... More than one square is highlighted. Ah. Teamed up with Anathema, I see. Oh, also, Meredith is ten levels under me. It's fine. Uh, she's at least as high level as the enemies. Uh... Oh yeah, metal. That'll work. Oh yeah, since last time I also did look into, um... Whether anything could learn dual wheel and stab in the dark, and there are a few. So if I really want to go all in on that plan, I might have like half my team have um, the web move and the other half just be dedicated to <laughs> stabbing well. And like you don't have to keep the partner characters in their original um, their signature monster. So like I could even put Viola in the plan somehow. I'm sure at least one of the uh, sticky web users, or no, oh, that's a Pokemon move. Um, at least one of them must have high ranged attack to make use of Meredith's base stats. So they can run support while the main character does stabbing. Anyway, the battle went rather poorly. <laughs> Surely the next one won't have Anathema in it, though. Oh, yeah, it's just two. I guess if they're gonna be this easy to find, I might keep it on camera for the whole thing. I just know from experience in the main game, sometimes these quests are awful. Because it'll be like, kill six of a somewhat rare encounter that you can't see because they don't have a map sprite. So also you never get encounters with two of them. Uh, I think once I had to fight like the, the lizard wizard things that are like a 15% encounter rate somewhere. He steal. Uh, might be better than return fire. Yeah, I think I definitely want Spring Load as long as Toy Hammer is one of the moves. You're not even remastered. That's why we're struggling. <laughs> okay, everything makes sense. That's also why you only have six move slots. Uh, return Fire is fine, actually. Roll again. Chance to use another move at random automatically at end of turn. And I believe Roll again does cost AP for whatever move it actually rolls. I think I'll pass. I like to actually decide what happens with my AP. 
Oh, I could roll smack. Graveyards are pretty melancholy. I like them, says Meredith. I guess we'll retreat for health once uh, Meredith is five star. Or rather, once Cloxley is five star. Oh, nice. One round battle. I guess, or once the quest is done. That actually looks like it'll happen first. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This will be a fast fight. And this will be the sixth one. thinking of going and challenging a captain once this quest is done, but I think we at least want Meredith remastered. Or rather, her tape. Might, like, help having stats. Energy wave. I guess you had pretty balanced. No, you didn't. You're definitely a melee attacker. Why isn't it Bish Bash Bosh? I'm using crumble. It's not like the ranged attack is terrible, but I don't think I don't think a move slot is justified here. Snoop and getting energy wave makes a bit more sense. Take it over trick. Bounty done. His resting might at least be worth a heart. All right, Hoy likes your quest. So that's what got auto selected after finishing the previous quest. It's a little funny. You don't have to go turn it in. With both the archangels appearing and us fusing for the first time, things have suddenly gotten very strange in my life lately. Strange? Uh... I take that the wrong way. Fusing with you is cool, but it's weird, right? I guess I wasn't expecting this island to throw any more surprises at me. Not to mention your plan to find a way to leave. It's been so long since I arrived here. I've barely thought about going back. I guess I was never that close to anyone back home to begin with. I don't like most people. I think that's why I like distracting myself. When I arrived here, I kind of got obsessed with electronics, making lights and stuff for the town. It gives me something to focus on so I don't have to think about everything else I'm missing. I think it was the same with finding that album. <sighs> ah, sorry for being such a... Sorry for being me, I guess. Hey, don't worry <laughs> about it. <laughs> Thanks. For a second, I sounded like Kaylee there. You know what I mean? She always acts like she's got something to apologize for. That's enough sincerity. Come on, let's finish up here. Whoop. <laughs> now he has fusion power. Excellent. The Snoopin must not be max level, because I wasn't offered a remaster. Oh. oh, traveling merchant. Check that out real fast. Giant mushrooms really add to the creepy nightclub cl ambiance, apparently. Pylon looks magnetic. Why don't you try using magnetism under it, mate? Well, I have other ways of ascending. Fancy running into you here. Well, yeah, I heard a rumor. Got multiple cure items. I'm, I'm good. Uncommon glass bonds. Brace for impact. Uncommon. It's one target using melee defense. Also damages the user. I didn't know this game had recoil moves. Pick smack. Damage based on ranged defense if higher. All right. I'll take one brace for impact. Suppose I also 
check the in-town sticker merchants. Get stickers for our monster <laughs> forms here. Fancy a look? Oh, the wrong AP thing again. Grab a copy of Vampire. Well, it depends on the opponent. I'm getting to the point where I have a bunch of pulp. And it's nice to just collect hmm. stickers in case I want to make a team eventually. I've been thinking of actually, like, properly diving into the wiki and looking at movesets and planning a set. Uh, so far, all I've got, though, is I want to put Custom Starter on uh, Regency with Focus so that there's a 90% chance of starting battle with an Accuracy Boost because both the Icicle Shot and the Signature Water Dance move have less than 100 Accuracy. Um, yeah, we'll try to get that done once uh, I have all the hearts in the game. Regency also can learn Rapid Fire. It's the one move that's not ice or water that it can get. Hey. Boost. Yeah, why not? Just grab stickers I have zero of. They're cheap-ish. Uh, maybe not the specific elements of walls. Or the coatings, because I can get these all the time from the, you know, the multi-type store. All right. Find some stickers. I saw last time the map was open that there were fusions over this way. Ah. Um. Up tape, Capper Corpse. Because this is a fire flood fusion. I can tell from the big lake of lava. Pyro time. And also a spring heel is there. Oh no, my buff duration. Oh wow. Pew. Well, this could be going better. I think I need to fuse. It at least gets me more AP per round. Doesn't really do a lot in terms of having more stats because Meredith's stats are so poor with not being remastered. I'm gonna use an item here. Oh yeah, we're ranged now. That's kind of awkward. All right, we have extinguished the fire type. Excellent. It re-extinguished. Is its melee defense being lowered even doing anything since we're using technically ranged attacks via um, spring load? This probably still uses melee defense. Also, their attack is already down. We don't need to attack down more. This takes advantage of their earth typing to put even more stat downs. Alright. 
Mountain Smash the Fire type. Uh, I guess finish off the fire type. Oh, sheer luck. I was like, how did we actually dodge something? <laughs> that explains it. All right, <laughs> almost got that star. Remaster is going to help so much. One other thing that would be nice though, would be uh, buying the things that make the fusion meter fill up faster if I have enough fused material. But anyway, back in the cafe once more. Some things never change, do they? Have you been here a lot? Um... This is Harbor Town. There's literally nowhere else to hang out. That's small town life for you. At least the coffee is good. You okay, Meredith? Stock the rewinds. They are super useful and basically free. Certainly not spent like spending on max potions in Pokemon, which actually can hurt your wallet. Okay, yeah, I have 17 fuse material. I should be spending it. Yeah, make type advantage hits give more fusion meter. Just generically make the fusion meter go faster. Uh, maybe not the crit one. Victory mod. Eh, the recording mod doesn't actually make the f meter fill faster. <laughs> it's just, well, it's full, you're better at recording. Honestly, yeah, gym point. Ta -ta. I'm not gonna bother going to the gym just to spend one point, but. Next time I customize my stats, it'll be there. Sand is a pain to get out from your boots, and you are not a fan of that. Where's the... There it is! <laughs> what do you know? There's, there's a pillar there. I was not given a hint about what type this would be in advance. Okay, plastic is weak to earth. Might want to swap Meredith. Honestly, should have probably swapped Meredith anyway. The tape will level up even if it's in the back, and I think something that's fully remastered would be good. Plastic and Earth. Metal is fine here. Flinched. And bomb. That's a good thing. I'm gonna get exploded. Yeah, air doesn't have any advantage here. The energy shot there because it's an advantage hit. If you don't actually get a turn, the bomb doesn't go off. That's handy. Honestly, just like don't die. Oh, that'll help with the not dying thing, having an enemy gone. Those big hits are the real problem. Alright. 
Nice. They both have melee defense down, but only the Sands of Time. Oh, wait, no. Askatoy has all the melee defense down. Sands of Time has all the ranged defense down. Also, this is the way the type matchups work out anyway. Alright, good fight. And we have full fusion for next time. Boxley is ready to remaster. So we're once again interested in resting at the cafe. Plus we're kind of speed speeding through Meredith's conversations. Hey. The gramophone cafe always reminds me of my dad. He brew a pot of coffee every morning before heading into London for work, so that coffee smell is kind of seared into my brain. Sounds nostalgic. I guess so. I can never tell if I miss my parents. We never had a huge amount in common. They grew up in a different time in a different place. I guess there was a big generational divide. It's not my fault my parents listened to incredibly bad music. When I moved out to go to college, we didn't really stay in touch. That's okay. That's sad. Ah. I suppose it is. You know, I don't have many strong memories of growing up. I had friends and life experiences. Thinking back on those memories, it always feels like something that was just happening around me, not something I was participating in. Like, I've never been fully in the pilot seat. I guess I was an uncool kid, then an uncool teenager. As for being an adult, <laughs> well, there's still time to see how I do with this. Yeah, positive. Oh, uh, maybe I just need to make more friends whilst I'm here in New World. Ugh. No one ever tells you growing up that making friends as an adult is hard. At least we're friends. It's easier with us. We have, like, a hobby together. We do? Yeah, we're looking for a magic world portal. That's a hobby, right? I guess so. I mean, I hope we'd still hang out, even if we didn't find your doorway. Of course we would. <laughs> cool. Huh, more tired than I thought. You think transforming and battling counts as exercise? I guess it's pretty exhausting. Anyway. Let's go and hang out together and punch monsters and stuff. Whoop. And we remastered Clocksley to... Robin Dam. As a reminder, the Clocksley line is Eugene's vanilla signature monster. Anyway, Robin Dams are keen shots with their plastic bows and arrows and are able to accurately strike a target with a suction cup arrow from 300 meters out. They pride themselves on their keen aim and keener sense of justice. Huh, having that'll help. I believe it eventually gets a signature move that is the suction arrow. I think it's just a plastic type ranged attack though, I can't remember any special properties. Ooh, a pixie. In the caves under the lake. Apparently he was digging away in the dirt for something with a pickaxe. It fled as soon as he got close though. Well, gotta check that out. Okay, Snoopin still needs another star. Robin Dam should have, yeah, more move slots. Anything I just want to immediately put in there? I'll make sure to sort the stickers. Anything will become a ranged attack. If, if you don't use this on a glass or metal type, it's just an inefficient way to get a 60 power move, but at least it would be metal type. Um, what else we got? <laughs> Magnet. <laughs> we can make the Robin Dam the tank. Uh, you're already plastic type. But this is 80 power, effectively. Oh, it's it's just brick blast. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll go with that uh, copper chop sticker then. Wait, stickers are in pages. If I scroll down. Oh. 
Huh. So I may not have looked over the whole list, yeah. Just now realizing that left and right aren't just fast ways to move up and down the list. Um. Ooh, silicon Slash. Although, wait. What does it beat that plastic doesn't? They're both good against electric. I can't think of anything else that glass beats. Oh well. Fire. Now that's an actual type. Eh, that's, that's enough messing around with moves. We'll learn moves. Uh, let's check out the pixie. That was a thing that in a cave immediately ran as soon as I saw it. And the first time, you're guaranteed to not be able to catch it. But it should actually be possible to encounter this one. Oh, hey, Avarivar is there too. Uh, I don't really feel the need to encounter the Avarivar. We already have flight. Just a ton lake caves. All right. Got to it before it escaped. Pixie, the treasure goblin. Uh, yeah, just start with a smack, I guess. And... Peekaboo. Accuracy down. That's mildly annoying. Bonk. Yeah, we shouldn't one-shot the pixie, even if... I was thinking about not using two attacks this round. I mean, this is something that's a little more difficult to re-encounter again. Oh, yeah, we can just miss. I guess I will do the recording then, since I have accuracy down. Um, yeah, there's no reason to pick anything other than plastic here. Plastic gets the same type attack bonus. Wow, a basic tape with a full HP... Um, unique monster. It dug for treasure and found one metal. So yeah, it has a signature move of looking for treasure. And whenever treasure is dug up, whoever wins the fight gets it. Well, I guess... The player gets it if they win, and it just disappears if the monsters win. Um. So yeah, it has moves that generate AP, and it digs for treasure. And my toy hammer failed, because <laughs> I didn't have the AP anymore. Um. Anyway, we can flip around the recording now that accuracy down is worn off. I've got plenty of AP. Recording. And wood. I believe it's supposed to find better loot on average if the user is lower level than cool. the opponent. But it might actually be specifically if the enemy is higher level than the player. Anyway, pixies are avid miners and will spend years of their lives excavating caves and tombs for gemstones and treasures. They often adorn themselves with the treasures they uncover and equip themselves with armor or weapons they find too. Oh, you've already got moves despite not being remastered. So yeah, it has treasure dig, it has gemstone wall, which is a slightly more expensive wall, but it gives 1 AP per turn as long as it lasts. So it's also kind of AP boost. Peekaboo, random starter, call for help. All right. I probably will not bother using that, but we got it. Also, we still need to win the fight. But now we can just both attack. Ow. Damages. Bonk. Firing hammers from my bow. Nice crit. Getting over a thousand pulp. Yeah. Kinda easy to come by. Alright. Well, 
let's rest up again and call it a video. Hey. Oh, the cool thing about the Witch House is that, like, three other bands had to disband for them to form. Rockgen fell apart when their bassist left to start his own religion, so vocalist Rob Handsome needed work. Drummer Linda Steele had just left the punk trio Bad Horses after a record label dispute. And guitarist Daniel Safety First Buttercroft was the only survivor of a tour bus crash which killed the entirety of his band, No Seatbelts. So the stars aligned, mostly through bad circumstances, and they were able to form the Witch House. Makes me think how small the chances are of e that even happening. I wonder what the probability of the two of us being here in this moment must be. Pretty unlikely, I'd guess. Yeah, just thinking about what was accomplished, got some stars on Snoopin', killed some rogue fusions for the fusion bounty, defeated the ice pecs, um, and of course, read a lot of Meredith's conversations. Got two whole hearts. Yeah, making progress. Oh yeah, and got the pixie, of course. East at 113. Just 15 monsters left. Which ones are they, anyway? Tokusect, okay. That's a possible remaster of Dominoth. I forget what the condition is, or if it even has one. It might just be a three-way multiple-choice question. Um, Pangolin, that's just a Squirey. Evolution. Yeah, Habitat Unknown, Habitat Unknown. So those I'm gonna have to level up. Nevermore remasters to this. We haven't even seen one, so I don't know if it can possibly be caught. Could catch a Flapwoods or evolve the Brax suit. Uh, <laughs> Padpole does have a remaster. There is a middle stage between this and this. Edgehorn is just a Huntorch remaster. Looks like I will have to actually remaster it though. Curry, that's a Twirly Gig remaster. Engrave. The Skell Evangelist remaster. Smogmagog remasters from something, but obviously I need to actually find it. You can't remaster backwards. Nor is there like breeding to go down the, the remaster chain. Oh, and then down here, I think we're into like... No. I think Pondwalker just has a regular remaster. Palm Bomb has a remaster. Cryoshear is remastered Ice Pack, but we could get it directly. Yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of remastering to do. Okay, yeah, the last eight here were added in an update, and I think they're all, like, special remasters that require specific moves. Well, actually, no. Trapworm, I think, it just has a, a remaster to something. It's a straight-up base monster that was added. Oh, yeah, so was Pixie and Fairy Claw, Ori Claw. Let's just Diveberg, Adeptile, and possibly Monster 121. That are the ones that require specific moves. And yeah, Archangels get registered as caught just by beating them. So this was our fused form. This is the the refight that I could go attempt, and this is at the beginning of the game. And then everyone else just gets one entry. Oh wait, just kidding, Alf. <laughs> anyway, that's enough reviewing the bestiary at the end of the video. Yeah.